People are not happy with the Oscars this year. I personally was a little annoyed with them as well, considering that they are kind of snubbing Godzilla Minus One. They gave it one nomination, and that was for Best Special Effects. It should also have Best Sound, Best Foreign Film. How about Best Costumes, Best Hairstyle, Makeup, all that stuff. It's a period movie. It's Movies like that uh, deserve to be in those kinds of categories. But they're like, well, we'll just give it special effects. That, that's fine. It's, it's ridiculous. That's one of the best movies of last year. It deserves more nominations. I'm not saying best picture. Barbie doesn't belong in best picture, that's for sure. Personally, I think Godzilla Minus One should maybe be in there. I've always thought Best Pictures reserved for movies like, you know, something like Godfather. But Barbie for sure doesn't deserve to be in there. Barbie's a silly movie. It's a silly movie. Uh, I don't really care for the movie, but I understand a lot of people like it, and that's fine. I think most of the things it's nominated for are fine, like Best Song, for example, uh, that I Am Ken song being in there. Totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. No problem there. But uh, <laughs> two people didn't get nominated despite all of the nominations this movie got. Margot Robbie was not up for Best Actress. And the director is not nominated for Best Director. And people are having a meltdown over this. The discourse over this is hilarious. A lot of people saying that the patriarchy has had the last laugh. You've got people out there pointing out how Ken was representing the patriarchy and he's winning an award, but she's not. But they didn't learn anything from the film. <laughs> uh, the mainstream outlets are particularly melting down. This makes me this makes me like that they weren't nominated, but there was nothing vindictive here with them not being nominated. The simple fact is that Ryan Goslin was the better actor. There's a reason that a lot of Ken memes were made and that people came out really talking about his character. He was the best part of that movie, hands down. So I get him being in there. And Margot Robbie was fine. I, I didn't have anything against her performance. But it's just not as good as Ken's, and and that's just that's just a fact, and it's reflected <laughs> in the nominations that has people going insane, and they really are. Some of these some of these articles, and they're all cited in here for the New York Post, but some of these are are funny. How can a movie get Best Picture nomination without recognition to its director? Did Barbie direct itself? Pierce Morgan in there. Uh, the other woman, her name is America, I guess. I didn't know that. But she was the woman that owned Margot Robbie's Barbie. She got nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Uh, so people are, are pissed that she got one, Ryan Goslin got one, and Margot Robbie didn't. So... There was one really funny one in here about the patriarchy that I, I got a real kick out of. I think maybe it's over here on this. Yeah, it's, it's on this one. So here's from Bounding in the Comics. Woke mainstream media outlets melt down over the Academy snubbing Barbie in the best actress and best director categories while nominating Ryan Gosling as best supporting actor. Now, we saw backlash like this with the Golden Globes because it was a familiar it's a familiar situation if you paid attention to that because I did a video on this uh, backlash that Ryan Goslin got well not so much Ryan Goslin but the the outlets themselves got so they're all down here and going insane 
but the I th- well, I think it was the Hollywood Reporter. They've been on a, a real one lately, talking about how what was it? They were they were talking about um, Killers of the Flower Moon, and in their review, they called America occupied land. <laughs> <laughs> they can't help themselves. But here's uh here's one. This is from uh Vox, which is a as they point out here, a very far left outlet. Also running out of money. Uh the patriarchy is riding high for the 2024 Oscars. <laughs> and it's not just them. Do they talk about yeah. Oh, dis- who is this that says this one? Cunningham? There's several major outlets. Oh, yeah, this is all in the Vox article still. This is all still in the Vox article. So uh, they say that blaming the despite the film's attempts to underscore Ken's unimportance, the movie arguably gave the drive actor a lot to do while being ripped and hot, blaming on the power of a fine, goofy man, but also on industry sexism. Sexism, his good performance. The movie is trying to be a comedy, and he did what he was supposed to do, and he just knocked it out of the park. So I I really think that the backlash on this is dumb, but it's not just the woke outlets like Vox and Hollywood Reporter that are upset. People online are also having a meltdown over this. They are not happy. Uh, If this wins Best Picture, and I don't think it will, if this wins Best Picture... Somebody online said, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm, I am can't remember. I think it was uh, Adam Friended said it, actually, I think. He said, if this movie wins Best Picture, our culture is lost. And I tend to agree with him. <laughs> I, I, this movie should not win Best Picture. If it does, we are living in idiocracy. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the Oscars? Let me know what you think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will hit you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.